Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous video, we discussed some of the basic concepts related to the open systems interconnection model or the OSI model. And uh, we just learned that the OSI model, it has a layered architecture, which performs the, pro the task of providing the basic framework for the transmission of data between the sender and the receiver and the layered architecture in OSI model it consists of seven layers and the data has to move in between these seven layers it has to be processed from one layer to the other from the sender side it is a top to bottom direction and in the receiver side it is a bottom to top direction. So in this video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the physical layer in specific we will be discussing about each layers in separate video. In this video we are going to discuss about the physical layer of the OSI model. So let us get started. So what is the physical layer actually? So it is that layer which is the bottom layer number one okay it is the first layer of the OSI model and uh, its function is to carry the data over the physical medium which is which can be anything it can be through wires that is optical fibers twisted pair cables, coaxial cables or it can be wireless, the electromagnetic medium, air. So the physical layer deals with that transmission over the physical medium, wired or wireless. Now as the data which is uh, transferred, it is in digital form, that is in bit form. Uh, series of 0 and 1, binary zeros and 1s. So the physical layer coordinates the function to carry the required bit stream over the physical medium which can be wired or wireless. So it deals with the mechanical and electrical characteristics of the transmission medium, the channel. That is the mechanical and electrical characteristics of the wired the wire, the coaxial cable, the twisted pair, ca pair cable or the optical fibers or the electromagnetic medium, the air. So that specifications are dealt with by the physical layer. So various functions, procedures and protocols are defined by the physical layer and the interface. Okay, the interface which exists between the various layers. Okay. The various interface that exists between the layers is the interface I'm talking about is this the interface that exists between the various layers of the OSI model which I have discussed in detail about in the OSI model basics video so you please check out that video first and then watch this video so it defines the various protocols and specifications about the connecting devices and the interfaces for the transmission uh, the transmission to take place now we know that uh, as per peer to peer process characteristic or feature of the osi model two devices have the same parallel layers communicating with each other so when two devices communicate with uh, one another when communication takes place each of these layers communicate with the same parallel layer of the other device that is physical layer of device A can communicate with physical layer of device this device the first device the physical layer of the first device uh, communicates with the physical layer of the second device okay it cannot communicate with any other layer okay so that is what I call peer to peer process so we have discussed peer to peer process in the previous video According to peer-to-peer -peer process, each layer can communicate with the same parallel layer of the other device. Here, 
transport layer of device A can communicate with transport layer of device B. Similarly, physical layer of device A can communicate with physical layer of device B. Similarly, application layer of device A can communicate with application layer of device B. Okay, so this is what the peer to peer process is. So, in the transmission of data from the physical layer of the first device to the physical layer of the second device, the various functions that are involved are carried out by the physical layer. So, the various functions of the physical layer are these. So, the physical characteristics of the transmission medium and interface, the representation of bits, the data rate, synchronization of bits, line configuration and physical topology and then is the transmission mode. So, let us discuss them one by one in detail. So, first one is the physical characteristics of the transmission medium. So, the physical characteristics of the transmission medium here refers to the various uh, design specifications of the channel, the link which connects the two devices. Now, the communication channel can be wired or wireless as I said. So, the physical layer determines whether the link is wired or wireless first then if it is wired what will what type of uh, wires will be used connection method whether it is optical fibers whether it is twisted pair cables whether it is coaxial cables copper cables whatever and then if it is wireless that is the electromagnetic spectrum is used then which frequency range will be used microwave radio wave so that is what the physical layer determines. Next is the representation of bits. Now we know that data transmission takes place digitally that is the data which is originally in analog form is converted into digital bits a stream of zeros and ones through analog to digital conversion technique which involves sampling, quantization and coding. We have discussed about that in the uh, communication systems video and also the signal processing video. So, please check out that also. And those stream of bits, the order, the sequence of zeros and ones, that is determined, that representation is determined by the physical layer. So, there are various coding techniques that are available, uh, which we will discuss about in upcoming videos. Uh, some of the coding techniques are Manchester encoding, differential Manchester encoding, unipolar and polar return to zero and non-return to zero type coding, split phase coding. So, there are various coding uh, encoding techniques are used. So, that type of encoding is determined by the physical layer. This is the second task, the second function. The next function is the to decide the data rate, okay, the number of bits that are sent per second. So, the physical layer determines the data transmission rate, okay, the rate at which data is sent and the duration of the bit that is how long it lasts. Next one is the synchronization of bits. Now, this function essentially is that when communication takes place between two devices, suppose one uh, device, the, the, the sending device sends the data at a particular rate okay and the receiving data is functioning at a much lower rate okay the data transmission rate and the data reception rate are different so there will be a mismatch between the data which is sent and received which will which will cause in loss of data or error so for that synchronization of bits is necessary it means ensuring that the data transmission rate and the data reception rate must be at the same level. Only then data will be transmitted and received and there will be no loss of data, no loss of information and no error. So that the synchronization is the task of the physical layer. Next one is line configuration. Now in the network connections video, okay, uh, I have posted a video related to network connections, we know that there are two types of uh, network connections, point-to-point -point connection and multi-point connection. So, 
that connection type, the network connection type category is determined by the physical layer, the particular line connection, whether it is point to point connection or multi point connection. Now, I have already discussed about network connections, uh, so you please check out that video. Okay, I will not repeat it here because I have discussed there in detail. So, the network connection type, whether it is point to point connection or multi point connection, so point to point essentially means there is a dedicated link between two devices and the channel is entirely reserved for the communication between two devices alone and in multipoint connection several devices share a single communication link and the network uh, the channel capacity is shared by all the devices next is the physical network topology again i have already posted a video related to network topology the various types of network topology so the physical topology determines how the various devices in the network are connected together so there are four types of network topologies mesh bus star and ring type topology so what physical topology will suit the network structure it is determined by the physical layer okay so the final uh, task of the physical layer is to determine the transmission mode now we know there are three types of transmission mode simplex half duplex and full duplex transmission mode okay so whether the data transmission is simplex type or half duplex type or full duplex type it is determined by the physical layer simplex means there is only a unidirectional uh, communication between two devices only one device can transmit other can receive in half duplex both the devices can transmit and receive but they have to do it at different time slots they cannot do it simultaneously in full duplex both the devices can transmit and receive simultaneously at any time okay so these are the functions of the physical layer okay so this is the basic concepts associated with the first layer of the osi model which is the physical layer okay we have discussed the basic concepts related to the first layer of the osi model architecture which is the physical layer so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much